In the name of Allah, the Rahman and the Rahim. Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all in today's lecture. Topic for today's lecture discussion is psycholinguistics. So, first of all, I'll give you the uh, outline of the lecture. That in today's lecture, I'll give you the introduction, historical perspective of psycholinguistics, so, uh, various definitions we will discuss. So, firstly, dear students, as we know that linguistics uh, generally is the study of a human language. Okay, then we have various branches of linguistics like uh, sociolinguistics, phonetics and phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics. Likewise, we have uh, psycholinguistics. Uh, psycholinguistics is one of the branches of linguistics. Okay, so uh, like uh, what is the history of psycholinguistics? Uh, the term psycholinguistics was coined. In 1936 by Joachim Robert Cantor in his book An Objective Psychology of Grammar. Uh, he is uh, American uh, psychologist. So firstly he coined the term psycholinguistics. Okay. After that his students work on the same concepts and the same like uh, uh, his team uh, at university, uh, they work on this concept and they elaborate it, they explain it, okay, like language in psycholinguistics uh, in 1946, like they wrote articles, various articles they published, uh, they are very uh, psycholinguist uh, like students, they published, okay, article regarding uh, psycholinguistics are psychology of language. So now what is psycholinguistics? Psycholinguistics is the study of the mental processes and skills underlining the production and comprehension of language and of the acquisition of these skills. Like how these skills, like it's the study of mental processes, okay, that govern that uh, are related to the production and comprehension of language that how we are uh, producing language and how we are understanding language for example simply it means that uh, when we are speaking a language what's going on in our mind what's going on uh, like uh, how we are processing language while speaking. On the other hand, if someone else is speaking language, uh, when we are listening to others, okay, when we are listening to uh, words produced by others, how we are understanding, how we are comprehending these words, like what will be going on when we are listening to others, okay? So at the time of speaking, how we are producing language, and how we are understanding language. So psycholinguistic uh, studies these both factors. And then how we are like acquiring these skills, okay? How we are learning and how we are acquiring these skills, production of language and comprehension of language. We can also define that uh, how the human mind constructs a thought and applies it into language is called psycholinguistics like how human mind constructs a thought and then applies it into language is called psycholinguistics so two things are important firstly uh, how human uh, like how we are taking thought or how we are creating thought and how we are applying that very thought into language so this is called this is the job of psycholinguistics psycholinguistics are psychology of language dear students two terms are frequently used in psycholinguistics studies like psycholinguistics are psychology of language sometimes some linguists they are making distinction between these two terms like psycholinguistics they are taking 
uh, it's just like uh, social linguistics and uh, sociology of language so similarly we have psycholinguistics and psychology of language okay so uh, sometimes they are taking they are, they, are, they are seeing that there is no difference between the, these two terms but some linguists they are making distinction between uh, psycholinguistics or psychology of language so uh, like uh, psycholinguistics or psychology of language is the study of the psychological and neurobiological factors that enable that enable humans to acquire use comprehend and produce language this is one of the comprehensive definition of psycholinguistics that it is the study of those factors psychological and neurobiological factors that able us okay able human beings to acquire like acquisition is there okay then usage of language then how we are how human beings they are acquiring language and how they are using language and how they are understanding language how they are making meanings out of words or of language and then how we are producing language okay these are different uh, like uh, uh, things like different elements okay which are uh, discussed in psycholinguistics acquisition usage uh, comprehension and production of language psycholinguistics deals mainly with language understanding yes language understanding means comprehension then production and acquisition so dear students these three elements are components are very important uh, while studying uh, psycholinguistics firstly understanding of language uh, then comes production of language then comes acquisition of language it is a part of cognitive science yes and comprises psychology linguistics okay so it is a part of sometimes it is considered like psycholinguistics is considered a part of cognitive science okay it has like um, a relation with cognition with mental processes with with mental map okay we are like um, producing mental maps uh, our mental pictures uh, in our mind okay uh, something abstract uh, some linguists they are saying that psycholinguistics is very difficult because we have no direct relation we can't touch mind we can't touch uh, like brain so it's very much abstract okay in nature so that's why it's uh, to to study abstract things to uh, like uh, deal with abstract things it's a difficult job so they are considering they are seeing that uh, psycholinguistics is very difficult task to study so psycholinguistics uh, mainly deals with what with understanding of language production of language and acquisition of language it is also considered a part of cognitive science that comprises psychology and language so uh, psycholinguistics uh, like uh, connects psychology and linguistics it it works like a, a bridge okay it's making connection between psychology and linguistics okay uh, then we have uh, dear students uh, like psycholinguistics is uh, uh, related with what with neurolinguistics dear students there is a slight difference psycholinguistics is the scientific study of how mind works how mind processing language and neurolinguistics how brain processing language okay uh, so uh, one is related to mind neurolinguistics related to uh, brain okay something abstract uh, something concrete and mind is abstract and then cognitive linguistics so uh, when we are studying psycholinguistics we have also concerned with neuro linguistics and cognitive ling cognitive linguistics yes our mental maps we are studying so these things are interrelated they they these are interplay they are inseparable in nature we can't separate psycholinguistics from neuro linguistics or cognitive linguistics or uh, mental map okay they are interrelated we are studying so 
like the study of brain and the study of mind uh, these two uh, study go side by side so dear students psycholinguistics uh, mainly uh, is the study of language and psychology so we have discussed these uh, two terms in detail it is also related to uh, cognitive science it's a very broad term dear students it study the uh, the mental processes uh, the uh, like uh, uh, how mind constructs language thought and applies to language if you have any question any doubt any difficulty you can ask in comments uh, thanks for watching assalamu alaikum